हेलो गाइस दिस इज साहि फ्रॉम टेक इट टू एक्स वेलकम टू अवर चैनल एंड दिस इज द नाइन्थ एपिसोड ऑफ टेक न्यूज सीरीज ऑन अवर चैनल सो गाइस सॉरी फॉर द डिले इन दिस सीरीज बिकॉज यस्टरडे आई वाज एक्चुअली बिल्डिंग माय पीसी न्यू पीसी बिकॉज आई वाज एडिटिंग ऑन माय लैपटॉप एंड इट वॉज आई थ्री लैपटॉप एंड इट वॉज रियली डिफिकल्ट टू एडिट ऑन दैट थिंग सो आई हैव मेड अ न्यू आई फाइव पी एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट अ वीडियो ऑन दैट डू टेल मी एंड प्रीवियस डेज आई हैव बिन नॉट अपलोडिंग वीडियोज कंसिस्टेंटली जस्ट ड्यू टू this reason so now i'll be uploading the videos consistently and you might also see reviews of some accessories like keyboard which i actually use so guys let's start with the first news the first news is actually coming from xiaomi and as i have told you in my earlier videos that xiaomi redmi pro is about to launch and uh, it has been finally launched but it is a device which is launched in china and it is a bit tricky device because there are some variants 3 gb ram variant and 4 gb ram variant and there are some uh, storage options available too but here the also the chipset options is available so let me get that so it is having that 4050 milliamps of battery and it is having a aluminum build quality so when we move to the processor use the processor use is actually helio x25 on 3 gigabyte 64 gb and 4 gigabyte 128 gigabyte model and when you will buy the 3 gigabyte 32 gb storage you will get the helio x20 so let's see how this processor perform and the rear has a 13 megapixel camera with 5 megapixel depth camera and front camera is actually again 5 megapixel shooter it is having that 5.5 inch oled display and the device is looking really good it is having that uh, fingerprint scanner on the front so here is a poll uh, actually as i have told already i am very excited about this device if it launches in india i know many of you are also saying me that and i do know that so, xiaomi can't launch the devices like uh, redmi pro because they are having mediatek chipset and uh, because they are having mediatek chipset uh, and i do know that thing but the thing is that if it comes to india with snapdragon 650 or 652 will be there and that will be really good thing and also uh, i was really excited to test out the helios model so guys the next news is up again coming from xiaomi that mi notebook is actually been launched and mi notebook is very similar to macbook pro which we are used to see there are two models 12.5 inch 13.3 inch the best thing i like about these new notebooks is that they are really really sleek and looks really good the specs under the hood is also really great if you buy the 13.3 inch variant you get the intel i5 6200u which is actually a sixth gen cpu and the graphics are actually geforce 940m and when we move to ram it is having 8 gb of ddr4 storage with 256 gigabytes of ssd so specs looks uh, really good but the good thing is that even the 13.3 inch variant which actually look really really sleek uh, is just weight about uh, weighs about 1.28 gigabytes so specs actually looks good and the uh, price is actually 750 dollars which comes to about what you say 50000 indian rupees and i feel it's a very good thing yes it also has the fast charging ability that in 30 minutes your uh, laptop can charge up to 50% and it runs windows 10 and if you buy the 12.5 inch variant it is uh, very uh, sleek as well also the weight here is just about 1 kg and here the ram is 4 gb and internal storage is 128 gigabytes also there are the there is change in the processor use actually it is a processor from intel only but processor is actually something different and also the new thing and the best thing i like about these uh, notebooks is that it is having a one free slot so if you want more ssd you can install that so that is the thing i really like about these two things although the specs are good i would say but not a beast of a thing but actually uh, from the looks which i am saying it looks really good also they have dolby sound so guys moving on to the next news then actually zuk z2 is the cheapest mobile with snapdragon 820 and it is just cost about 240 dollars guys and the it is having that snapdragon 820 it is similar to that of uh, simple uh, zuk z2 but the only difference is that it is having 3 gigabytes of ram and 32 gigabytes of internal storage also the on the exterior there is no change but only there are some new olympic the themes and wallpapers are added so guys let's move to the next news iphone sales drop for a second straight quarter india rare bright spot i have just told you the topic 
just because uh, in a uh, in each part of the world the iphone sales are actually decreasing and india is the only place where the sales are increasing so you guys actually know the what's the reason behind that uh, i have some of my friends who generally use iphone 6 uh, 6s they actually knew very little about their smartphones but why they use iphone 6s just to show off the, there is one thing uh, I mean, I know the 6s is a really great device, but when it comes to persons like me, I want liberty in my smartphone. I want, uh, I like to do whatever I want. So they, these are very restricted for me. And uh, answer the poll here. Why the, what you say, the demand for iPhones in other countries is decreasing and India is increasing. So what's the answer? check out the poll here so guys the next news is actually coming from sony that sony f8331 which i have told you earlier is actually will be called sony xperia xr and also there are some specs like it will support a 5.1 inch display capable of 4k video recording with both of its cameras front and rear also it will have that snapdragon 820 with usb type c so good looking specs so next news is coming for our oneplus users that oxygen was 3.2.2 is actually rolling out and if you are not getting the update please check out my channel the method will be same so there will be a video how to get oxygen OS 3.2.1 and when we talk about improvements in uh, update there is an improves uh, it improves the notification man, uh, management also the nfc toggle has been added in settings also there is a increase in a 4k video codec and some optimizations too but i am actually hearing that the battery life has gone decrease up, up a bit so do check out the reviews because i have now sold out the one plus three so guys the next news is coming from blackberry and uh, we were talking about the blackberry device that is blackberry neon and now it's finally official the the blackberry actually that device is known as blackberry dtac 50 and it is available for 300 dollars which comes to about 19,000 indian rupees i would say the pricing is okay but when we talk about the specs it is having 5.2 inch full hd display with qualcomm snapdragon 617 13 megapixel rear camera front 8 megapixel uh, quick charge 2.0 everything good but uh, the thing is that it is the first smartphone which which is having DTAC and company is starting this as the world's most secure android smartphone so let's see how it goes so guys the next news is actually coming from samsung that mystery tablet that is mystery tablet uh, the model number is actually SMP585 is supported at FCC. The FCC is a Federal Commission Communication Commission. So uh, this is an 8-inch tablet with stylus port and uh, there are no comments on the specification but this tablet actually looks good to me. So guys the next news is coming for live users and who, uh, the person who are actually planning to buy new live handset just because of the new SIM. So guys when we talk about the specs of this new uh, water aid chipset actually i am interested in this device just because of the specs and nothing else it is having 5 inch 720p screen which is actually amoled panel uh, uh, snapdragon 615 blunder 615 so load of heating guys 3 gb ram 16 gb internal storage android 5.1 hybrid slot 13 megapixel air 5 megapixel front 2600 milliamps battery 4g voltage and 11,000 rupees is the price and the color options available are white and black answer the poll here whether you will buy this device or will actually buy a redmi note 3 so what rate versus redmi note 3 i actually know the answer but do tell your opinions too so guys actually the next news is coming from tcl new not a new brand but uh, tcl was a brand uh, who was a leading manufacturer or a very good manufacturer of TVs in India. The most of the CRTs which we used to see in our past were actually made up of TSL and TCL has newly launched a smartphone that is known as TCL 562 for 11,000 rupees and the specs underneath are Helio P10 chipset, 3 GB of RAM, 32 GB of internal storage, 13 megapixel rear camera, 5 megapixel front camera, sports Volti front fingerprint scanner as well so specs looks good but 
I don't feel it is a must have product because at 11,000 rupees you may get very good products like Redmi Note 3 or the other options available in that price so I highly doubt what will be the sales of this device so guys now there will be a poll this poll is not related to TCL only but the thing is uh, just answer this poll the question is actually uh, when Chinese manufacturers or the new companies like TCL or life or anything are planning to launch a device in India they generally launch like Blackberry did they generally actually target the mid range or premium range so I feel they should target the budget something less than 8000 rupees because there are people who wants smartphones and today only if you ask me which is the best smartphone in 8000 rupees I will say uh, Redmi 2 Prime or Lenovo P1M so what's your take on it the company should in, uh, invest in which budget mid range or high end I would say budget is the best thing because they can invest in it because uh, when we talk about the pricing segment of 15,000 rupees you get variety of options but when we talk about uh, devices less than 8,000 yes there are devices from Samsung but I am not considering them because they are shitty devices sorry for the word uh, so guys do answer the poll here so this was pretty much it from the video guys if you have liked please do give this video a thumbs up and if you haven't already please subscribe to our channel and for any type of criticism or feedback do comment and if you want uh, your specific question to be answered in a video here will be a hashtag hit me up on twitter for that if you want to support tech it Twix, description box and if you want to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, any site, description box. So this is Sahi from Tech It Week signing off. Thank you guys for watching.